I will show you how to unpack this virtual TI zip file. So you right click on it and depending on what kind of software you have installed, you will see all kinds of options here. Mine is bare bone. So if you are like me and have nothing, choose this extract all and click on it. And then you will see this screen popping up and you click next. And then it will ask you where to put this result here. In my case, I will just take it where it is. So it will put the uncompressed version of this file on the same location. So I let it go. Next. And then it goes. You can see it being created here and it's doing the work. So all the compressed component in here is going to be in com uh, uncompressed or unzipped in that location. Okay, it's done. And I don't have to ask it to show, just finish it. And then I can go see for myself. So when I go look at it, and it's a maze within maze. If you click here, you will get to see the structure here. So here it is um, uh, virtual TI within virtual TI. I, I find it annoying. So I'd like to bring it one level up. So what I will do is I will drag this guy and bring it up to here. Does it work? Let's see. Yeah, it worked. So now if you go to virtual TI, you got this original zip, which you can delete now, and you got this virtual TI. That's it. Uh, in here, you will see various files. But what you want is for the file called vti.exe. You should configure your computer to show the extensions here. Do not blindly guess which is vti.exe when you don't see them. So here it is. So when you run this vti.exe, it will run. And looks like this. And then it will pop up. Okay. Now it showed up. Um, other times, you if this is the first time you're running it, you may not see this. And it may ask you to find the um, right skin. You may have a menu selection there. Choose TI-89 and then you will get this here. As you can see, it's rather small. You can doesn't look like it, but you can stretch it here. The uh, window's hidden, so you don't see them, but if you go to the corner, you can drag it and drag it and make it bigger. So you can see it better, It will, but these things are not sampled right, so you, it looks kind of distorted. If you look around here, it looks okay, but if you look here, it's unreadable. Actually, it is bigger and harder to read. Can you believe that? When it was smaller, it was you could actually read it. So what you do is right-click and choose the right percent. So right-click anywhere on the screen here, and go to emulation options and choose what size you want. If one was too small, then you can go for two emulation options, large view. So it's too large to show on my recording here, but as you can see when I'm scrolling here, it shows the entire screen actually bigger than the real calculator. So you can use it that way, but let me go back so that I can show you what was involved there. All the buttons basically work the way it should. So therefore, you will have power button. If you do yellow off, it will turn off. It, it even times out the way the normal calculator does. So this is a wonderful emulator. And you can do all the programming you could do on TI-89 on this emulator calculator.